Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Bonnie with Buy Bonnie Jewelry, where I talk about all things diamonds. Subscribe to my channel, because who doesn't need jewelry and bling in their life? I do! <laughs> so today I'm going to talk about an oval diamond ring. Everyone knows oval's hot. I've been doing a lot of oval. But a lot of the styles uh, that we feature are like the platinum or the prongs. This video is going to be doing yellow gold. So if you love gold, gold, gold is definitely coming back. Lots of rings are being made in gold or two-tone. It's beautiful. It just goes with everything. So I I know you guys love story time. <laughs> this client of mine reached out to me again, seen my uh, work online and just fell in love with our craftsmanship. But I've done this ring once before. Uh, make sure you go check it out with a more elongated uh, oval. So this one, it's going to be a different ratio. And we also did something completely different in this ring, which we actually made. So this is part of our tulip collection where we use our floral design underneath. And this is a thin bezel setting. Okay, I am like the queen of bezel. Nobody does this thin laser thin bezel the way we do it's so hard to perfect guys like i can't tell you so i talk a lot about different ratios of oval diamond just remember an oval diamond essentially is just a round diamond and then you just like make it you pull it longer right so the the longer the ratio it becomes more skinny on your finger so depending on the the length of your finger and the shape of your finger i think that's really important to figure out ahead of time before you commit to an oval ring so here's a photo of the actual client wearing the ring she absolutely loves it like the just speechless right we added birthstones in the ring uh which is also a, a feature of, we call it peekaboo we've done it in ruba before this time we did topaz and uh, what i really loved about this design and that she wanted a gold look from the top but she wanted that elements of like making sure that it reflects white into the diamond right so we kind of played around with the area where we said okay what if i made the leaf part in platinum and i put them together would you have liked that and it was like light bulbs <laughs> going off of our heads like yes and of course the labor of like you know putting that together it's really a lot of labor but i think it's worth it because it just it's absolutely just so stunning so she got the best of both world got the thin gold bezel and she's you know very active with her hands she doesn't like anything that would catch or anything that would you can you can feel the prongs with bezel set you cannot feel any prongs the the peekaboo is being set by pressure in between the leaves so there's absolutely no metal there and as you can see, it's a really difficult process to do that. It takes a lot of years of craftsmanship and just experience, right? And keep in mind that sometimes birthstones, like, you know, um, smaller gemstones of, you know, different kind of birthstone can be softer. So those are also going to be more difficult to set um, when you're making it. So the, the steps that we take to go from zero to your perfectly custom made beautiful ring, it's just, it's there's so many steps involved from design to kind of thinking okay what millimeter of the band that's gonna we're gonna put so that the stone's not gonna tip around on your finger but still look absolutely stunning on your finger and not so thin where it's gonna be flimsy not so thick where it's gonna be like oh that's too chunky i don't like it so finding that perfect balance is really what we're looking for here and i'm just so in awe how much she absolutely love the ring and i encourage you guys Honestly, when you're looking for jewelry in general, just make sure that the craftsmanship is there. I can't stress, I can't stress enough how important that is because you can literally have a perfect diamond and have the world, world's worst setting. Nobody talks about setting. You know, if you Google any type of education about engagement ring, it's all about, oh, here's a list of like the perfect diamonds that you should look for. First of all, I think the curation of the center stone, which I talk about largely in many of my other videos is also very important. So first we pick the perfect beautiful stone and then custom fit the setting because if you go get cookie cutter settings they're all just gonna be okay especially oval how do you know if it's long your diamonds gonna be longer shorter if they have all the standard shape and you just four set a stone in there all you're gonna see is just negative space and just a bunch of like metal that's sticking out or something when i've seen also rings before where they try to push it in where the wire of the side just bends up and you end up getting like a side v of a hidden halo or a basket on the side which oh my god no bueno <laughs> 
So those are the tips to look out for when you're shopping for a setting. Of course, there was some hesitancy at first. It's like, oh, am I gonna really love the bezel setting? I think just the word love is not enough. Be open-minded about the metal color and just consider your lifestyle when you choose the setting, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed how lovely this ring came out uh definitely leave your thoughts below i love hearing you guys' feedback um and this can this bezel can be done with many different shapes i've, I've gotten inquiries to kind of do it with round can we do it with radiant absolutely doable very exciting so all right thank you guys i will see you in my next episode don't forget to follow me hit the follow button subscribe button uh and on instagram my handle is at bye bonnie joy all right ciao ciao See you guys later. Bye.